Hey everyone, in the news this week, Europol made 49 drug arrests and took down a super cartel that apparently controlled a third of Europe's cocaine supply. So much for having a white Christmas. Also, Will Smith did an interview and blamed the Chris Rock incident on pent-up anger stemming from an abusive childhood. You know, if only social services had been able to take him out of that situation years ago and send him to live with a rich uncle in LA. Also, Christmas is coming soon and Prince Andrew has apparently asked for an Amazon Alexa. Officials have arranged for Alexa 16 to fly out of Rio in the next couple of weeks. You might want to ask Alexa, what do women want? She wouldn't shut up for about a week straight. But I guess one of the big stories has been the ongoing one in which rats are fleeing the sinking ship that is Rishi Sunak's, quote, conservative, unquote, party. Sajid Javid announced that he won't be standing at the next election, and he joins four others this week alone, including former Work and Pension Secretary Chloe Smith. A few news outlets have made a comparison of the government to rearranging the decks on the Titanic, but that's quite unfair because at least the Titanic offered you luxury travel for at least the first 80% of the trip. Here's one for you. What do you get when you cross the Atlantic with the Titanic? Answer, about halfway. The Labour Party also has about a dozen MPs standing down, but the larger departure is that of Ian Blackford being forced to stand down as the SNP's leader at Westminster. This is someone who, for years, has been part of Nicola Sturgeon's inner circle, considered untouchable, and so it's an indication that she might too be on her way out soon. You know, for 15 years the SNP have controlled pretty much every institution in Scotland, and the continued lack of broad support for independence despite that is a clear sign of how inept they really have been at it. You know, I can only really think of one other job where you get more incompetent the more years' experience you have at it. Suicide bomber. But anyway, I guess for now everyone will remain in a state of denial until events finally happen. You know, the idea that things go wrong slowly, then quickly. But in my experience, the speed at which a woman says nothing when asked what's wrong is inversely proportional to the severity of the oncoming storm. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.